What's going on everyone? My name is Impulse and welcome back to Hermitcraft. We are starting off today on the backside of the factory, which as you can see is done. <laughs> I've been doing some work off camera and we finished up the back. Look at that. It is, it is okay. Almost completely done. There's a couple pipes I want to put in back here, but other than that, it is completely done. All the walls are in. Finally, there's no just big open gaps back here like before. Ah, oh, it felt good to just get that done. And today we're going to do something really fun with this bit here. You guys know we've got this smokestack here that goes up up to I mean almost build height and I thought you know what it could be kind of fun to do something with the inside of it and apparently I didn't mob proof it <laughs> oh no <laughs> so it looks like we should watch out for <laughs> there's not too many mobs in here somehow did we just miss a single spot no this whole place looks like it could be pretty dangerous anyway i think i'll start by mob proofing it and of course it's dark in here so we're gonna have to do something about that but i've got a really fun plan that's gonna involve shulkers and lifting ourselves up through levitation and trying to get through the top of the smoke stack like it's some sort of game it's gonna be fun but i'm gonna uh, yeah let's get this thing mob proof first and foremost Oh my gosh, <laughs> what is going on with the moon? I mean, I know we've talked about is it, okay. It's getting kind of smaller as I get closer, but that is just not right. I know we've talked about it before and it feels like every time I log into the server now, it is getting bigger. Okay, all the things still rendering in. Oh my gosh, that is that is the biggest moon I've ever seen in my life. and. I have a sneaking suspicion we should be worried about this. I thought maybe it was something Doc was doing, but he says it's not. So now I'm even more worried because we don't know what's going on here. Uh oh. Oh no. Uh, apparently, the smokestack wasn't the only thing we forgot to mob proof here. This sounds like it could be really bad. Oh, it is. Okay. Uh, this may be part of the lag in Bodum. I have a mob farm in the cooling towers. Oh my gosh, there's so many mobs. I need to go get some torches and light this up immediately. All right, I've done some prep work and now it is time I need to catch some shulkers to bring over to the factory. So I've set up a little bit of railway in the nether and I am here at Jevin's shulker farm. I talked to Jevin, he said I could use it. I hope I don't break it. There's a good possibility, but we're staring at the lever that actually turns this thing on. And then I need to go into the nether. I have my camera account loading this area. Hopefully that will be enough. And hopefully I don't end a pearl into the stairs. Well, I kind of did. All right, there we go. And if we do this, we should turn the farm on. You're gonna hear some snowballs, I think. Yeah, yeah, there's the snowballs. That's loud, I'm leaving. Okay, so that should start generating shulkers. Yep, and I, I don't, is it supposed to be up there? That might be wrong, but let's go to the nether and hope for the best. All right, we are back in the nether now and it does look like there is actually a shulker up there. Oh, there's a couple of them, and I turned it off so it wouldn't kill them. What we need to actually do is push a cart into them. Let's see if we can get a couple into a cart, and then we can transfer it over to the farm. It is going to shoot at me right now, isn't it? Yeah, indeed it is. Uh, okay, that didn't work out. <laughs> we're going to have to move this guy. Look at that, he shot the cart. <laughs> All right, we're going to kill that guy. And of course, I'm floating. All right, let's see if we can get this one at least. And I'll come down and add a couple more tracks on here. And perfect. And get in the cart. Oh, new one came in. Okay, we got one in the cart. A new one just came in. We may kill that guy. I might go back through actually and shut off the farm. That's probably a good idea, just so that we can deal with one at a time. But we have one in a mine cart right there. Ah, <sighs> this is nerve wracking, I tell you. I'm gonna try to get a furnace mine cart behind him to push him, but we're gonna have to do this really quickly. So, here we go. Okay, that went the wrong way. Oh great, he moved! It's it's moving! It's working! He's slowly moving along the track there. 
<laughs> Alright, now we definitely need to get the minecart going so it can push him along. And off we go! I hardly ever use these furnace minecarts, but this is gonna do the trick. And there he goes. Perfect. Alright, we got a fully charged furnace minecart, and it does look like the shulker finally stopped. We need to get it to go up that por- into that portal, basically. I've got an activator rail in place, ready to eject him, and then I buttoned up everywhere around it. So hopefully, he gets ejected out of the minecart, and then we'll go up onto those two blocks facing the portal, one of the two, and then he should go through the actual portal, which looks like it happened. It actually looks like it happened, which means I don't need this anymore. And that means he's probably on top of the smokestack tower. Yeah, I don't see him. I don't hear him. And he's probably on the other side, and we're going to have to recapture him somehow. Oh, I hope I don't lose him after all that. Oh, yep, here he is. And how is he back in the minecart? I'm confused. <laughs> Somehow he's back in the minecart. He never left. Do minecarts actually go through portals now? That can't be the case. That used to not work. But anyway, he's back in the minecart, safe and sound. And that means he's not going to go anywhere. And I'm just going to keep floating, which is kind of fun, but also kind of annoying. All right, so one agreement I made with Jevin was that if somehow I ended up breaking his farm while trying to grab some shulkers out of it, I would fix it. And I am a man of my word. I am going to fix it. And that guy right there, he needs to be put back in his place, which is inside of this little tube, which is not going to be easy, but I have come prepared. I have some invisibility potions, so hopefully he won't see me. I got to take off my armor and stuff. And I have some splash potions of healing just in case he's taken some damage. He may have shot himself or got shot by another shulker. I have no idea. But I do know he's not supposed to be there. I'm not exactly sure how he managed, actually. It seems like maybe there was a missing button or somehow he teleported onto a button, which would not make a lot of sense in Minecraft, but weird things happen. So who knows, but I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna take the invisibility potion. I think I can get away with wearing one piece of armor. It's gonna be my wings. I should probably set spawn in case things go very poorly here. All right, down to just my elytra and this chicken is definitely worried about me uh, with good reason. So uh, here we go, I guess. I'm gonna take the invisibility potion. That gives me eight minutes. And when we get up there, I think I was, maybe I'll just do a flyby splash on him. Actually, I want to see how close we can get without him seeing us. I think that even because we have the one, right, the one piece of armor, there is a way we can get still too close and they can see us and I'm literally right next to him. All right, let's splash him. Bam. There we go. Um, now we got to figure out how to get him in a minecart. <laughs> And the good news is I think we got to, yeah, we got to take them down like directly down here. So if we can kind of get some blocks up here and a track in, then we should be good to go. He's not shooting me. So this is good news. All right, let's build up some track and see if we can get him in a mine cart, which I did bring along. All right, here we go. Let's see if we can get him in this cart. There we go. No problem. Now we just need to get him over a block, I think, and drop him down. All right, you may have heard a little bit of hesitancy in my voice there, and that's because I'm not 100% sure I'm doing this right. So I went ahead and <laughs> went to watch a video from Ian, and I'll link it in the description. It's the one that Jevin used to build this farm, just to see the process of how he got the shulker into this specific spot, and I wanted to make sure I did it right. So first things first, I think we are still invisible, right? I don't want to get too close again. Yep, still invisible with just our cape on, and we are going to... I'm gonna actually break the portal right here. All right, we got both portals broke, and now we gotta go up eight blocks here. That's four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we need to do an activator rail on top of here. And then we need to, of course, power it. Then we pull these two stairs out. And I guess when it drops down here, it's supposed to hit this activator rail and then pop on over to this guy right here. All right, I'm hoping this will pick him up, send him down, and then he should land on the activator rail. Uh, please, yes, yes, yes. And then, ah, uh, he's in, he's in. Okay, great. Oh, he sees me now, that's not good. That's not good. But now we can push him over. Okay, he's in there, we break these. Hopefully he doesn't go anywhere. Basically, we've got to break everything we've done now so he doesn't teleport out, which he's already done. Oh, oh this is frustrating. Wait a minute. He may be extra. 
I think I still hear him inside this bit. Okay. I'm hearing two of them for sure. Yep, he is in there. That is a good sign. Now we just need to make sure we didn't leave any blocks for him to spawn on. And this guy here, he kind of needs to go somewhere else. And lucky for us, that was super easy. Sarcasm. Yeah, that was sarcasm. All right, I looked around. Everything looks good. There doesn't seem to be any buttons missing or any blocks that I left from trying to get this set back up. So I'm thinking I hit him with one more potion just to be safe. Make sure that he's got full health in there. And I think it's safe for me to do so. Oh, you know what? He can see me now. Um, I may not actually want that to happen. Eh, let's take a risk. All right, I'm going to pack up and go into the nether now where there should be another one waiting for me because we did see one go through when we were doing all this. And if that's the case, that's all I need. I'm not touching this any further because I don't want to have to go through that process again. I'm not sure if Jevin has had to do that more than just the first time, but that was kind of a pain. Aha, there are a couple in here actually waiting for us. And I kind of feel like we should snag one and try to duplicate them in our own base and keep one for safety measures in case something bad ever happens again because escorting shulkers from the end was probably a huge task. So um, I'm gonna get more invisibility because definitely things were a lot easier when I was invisible. Ooh, this is even better than I thought. There's actually three of them up there. So I'm going to go ahead and pop some more of the invisibility and we'll see if we can get them over to our base. All right, here goes nothing. Oh, not enough momentum. Let's go. There we go. Got him. I think there's tracks all the way through there. So if I get behind and I do the minecart with the furnace, I think it'll push them along. So let's try that. Because again, I don't want to get too close because that's when they see me. All right, here we go. I hardly ever use these things like I said before. So let's see if it works. And off he goes. But for some reason, the, the cart the cart stopped. Uh, I'm not really sure why, but uh, we'll catch back up with that guy later, I suppose. Aha, there he is. <laughs> he stopped almost all the way there. He made it quite far. So let's go ahead and give him the final last nudge. I don't want to get too close. And uh, how far will these go before they run out of fuel? Can you actually see? You can't like right click on him and see, can you? But let's see if he pushes him along. Yeah, there it goes. All right. It should again make its way up through the portal. And then we'll have to go on the other side and things could get wild. We'll find out. Through it goes, and through we go. Yep. Okay, yep, he's here. And I think he's still in the minecart. Seems like it. He's not happy with me, though. <laughs> I wonder if we could just drop him all the way in. We're crawling underneath. Let's see if we can sneak down in here. This is a very delicate operation, I tell you. I don't think he's happy with me, but that's okay because he's going down. <laughs> All right, hopefully he's safe and sound now. He's not gonna take fall damage, right? I just hope that means he's out of render distance. Okay, good. He's still in here and he's still not very happy with me. I do have some more invisibility if I need it, though. All right, I've been doing a little bit more work and starting to get the guys situated in here. I've got the first one up on that block there, and I've got another one down here just stashed right there. I don't want to get too close because they're going to start firing at me. But basically, you can see the idea is we are going to put them in layers right in the middle all the way up. And I'm going to need, I don't know how many, actually. I need to count. I think I need about eight or so. Oh, jeez. What was that? That was like the whole server just shook. Did you guys, you guys saw that, right? It was really quick and my arm just started shaking like this. Oh, it wasn't me shaking my mouse. Oh no, things are, um, they, I don't know what's happening. <laughs> the moon's getting big. There's some sort of weird earthquake thing happening now. And like I said before, this can't mean good things. But anyway, um, I, I need to now get a way to duplicate my own sh shulkers. So I have another one, a third one at the very top. I think I'm going to try to set him up to kind of do the same thing that was happening at Jevin's farm, where he'll shoot himself 
and then we could start to collect some extra shulkers and i want to make sure that i don't lose these guys so i'm going to set all that up that's going to take some time and i'll probably do that in between episodes if, to be honest because i want to step away from this we just spent so much time getting those guys and it was kind of frustrating oh this is still going strong i just saw some cactus flying through the air but i want to um make sure i get an announcement out to you guys right now because there's some exciting stuff happening you see Friday, November 26th, I am going to be doing something very special. I'm going to be doing a 24 hour live stream. Yeah, that's right. I'm going to be streaming for 24 hours straight and it's for a good cause. It's for charity. It's for no kid hungry. It's going to help feed some kids here in the United States. And um, I'm, it's going to be a lot of fun. In fact, I'm going to just show you guys a trailer of what's going to be happening because it's, it's pretty epic. So check this out. In the lands of Minecraft, Middle Earth, Legend tells of the Dark Lord Sauron and the ring that would give him the power to enslave the world. Lost for centuries, it has been sought by many. It has found its way into the hands of the most unlikely streamer. He's doing it! Jeez, go! What do you want from me? Take a chill pill. Sauron only needs this ring to cover the server in darkness. It must be destroyed. Sauron's forces are already building. They will find the ring. And they will kill the streamer who carries it. If Impulse does not find a way, no one will. Oh, he's on me! Holy cow! What? What? No! What about First Breakfast? A special 24-hour Black Friday stream to benefit no kid hungry. Unofficially relive all six iconic movies in Minecraft Middle Earth to feed children in need. A rewatch marathon like Middle Earth has never seen. Dozens of in-game moments. Influence the action in real time. Send aid. Send gifts. Send heroes to help. After all, it is the small everyday deeds of ordinary folk that keep the darkness at bay. So yeah, that's going to be taking place over on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash impulsesv. I'll put some more information about that in the description if you're interested in joining us and uh, helping to support a great cause. I hope I can make it through 24 hours. You may just want to tune in on hour 23 and see if I'm, you know, still coherent. But anyway, I was just flying around, taking a look at some things. There's been a lot of things happening here in Bodom. Mumbo's got this really cool statue now, and uh, it looks like green has built some sort of observatory i guess this is to to watch the moon <laughs> to see if it grows any further so that's pretty crazy i wonder if that ravager we caught yeah it is it is still there but my base is coming along guys like now that we're almost finished with the exterior there's just some what is that i was just about to say there's just some little details left that i need to finish up but look what is this guy <laughs> This looks like, is this like an Among Us character? I mean, it's yellow, so that's totally fitting. <laughs> that's fantastic. Um, I have no idea who did that, but there's another one. <laughs> there's another one over there. What is that? Is this just a little prank somebody's doing? Is there, does Pearl have one too? Um, that doesn't look like it fits. Yep. That's another one right there. There's a blue one for Pearl, right? <laughs> oh my gosh. What, I don't know what these are about. Please, if you know what's going on with the Among Us peeps, let me know in the comments because that's that's a little sus. <laughs> anyway, um, I know this video is going to be a little shorter than the others. I just want to make sure I get this out because tomorrow for me, actually the day this is going to be releasing is Thanksgiving, which means I'll be spending some time with my family. Plus, I am going to need to, to take some time to get some sleep and get ready to go 24 hours straight for the live stream on Friday. So I want to make sure I get this video out to you guys before all that. Otherwise, it, would, it, would, it wouldn't be out until like after the weekend, which it's already been too long. 
because, you know, lots of things going on. But anyway, again, hopefully you guys can catch me on the live stream on Twitch.tv. If, if for whatever reason you, you're not on Twitch and you don't make it, uh, I, I will be trying to post the replay to my second channel, Impulse SV2, where all the stream replays go. So make sure you head over there and... Is there more goats? <laughs> yeah, if you're not subscribed to Impulse SV2, that's where the live stream replays are. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yeah, we have to do it. Yeah, nothing to see there. Everything is fine. <laughs> oh, man. I, I didn't know he put goats all the way to my base. But uh, anyway, yeah, like I said, that's going to do it for me today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like button. If you're not subscribed, make sure you do that before you go. And with that said, I'll see you again next time. Have a good one, everyone. Oh, and if you're in the U.S. and you celebrate Thanksgiving, happy Thanksgiving. See you later.